Good evening guys, hope you guys are well and happy. Just here in a completely different area. We're in here at Castle Hill Fitness First. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a shoulder workout. Enjoy. Hey guys, before I start my shoulder workout, I'm gonna be doing a brief warm up on the treadmill. The reason why I like to get my walking pace up as well, increase my heart rate, increase my oxygen throughout my muscles as well, and obviously increases blood flow, it's gonna help contractions and the pumps as well. And obviously while I'm walking, I'm just getting my mind ready, getting my music ready, understanding what exercise I'm gonna be doing as well, just kinda of getting my mind ready to take myself through that shoulder workout. So guys, I just kinda of stick to my um, warm up to be like five, 10 minutes of a nice brief walk on the treadmill, just to get my get, get my mind focused and then I'm going to be going into some um, foam rolling today after this roll foam rolling my back doing some shoulder mobility stuff like that then I'm going to be taking you through the shoulder workout okay guys after I do my brief warm-up on the treadmill okay I got my heart rate up starting to sweat a bit so I feel nice and warm but now I'm going to do some mobility stretching okay a bit of stretching for the shoulders and a bit of for the thoracic spine okay so I'm going to be doing here is using a foam roller um, there's different ways you can use the foam roller as well I'm just going to keep it nice nice and basic. I don't want to spend too much time on the warm-up. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go through some mobility stuff. So. Cool guys, so what I've done there is I'm just doing a nice foam roll, really just stretching out my thoracic, really trying to break up the muscles, all the all the tissue that's all tied it up as well. So guys, when you have tight muscles in your training, it's not the best, you don't get a mind to muscle connection, you don't get a contraction as well. Obviously me being a massage service, I've gone down that down that anatomy of how tight muscles impact your performance training. That's why I enjoy foam rolling is a lot. I spend like five, 10 minutes on my foam rolling, just open up my chest, okay? Open up my back as well, so I get more mobility through my exercise as well. And get a better contraction okay so guys try and do as much foam rolling as possible don't spend too much time but obviously after your workout is very important as well so what I've done there is just a normal foam roll it's going to be 90 degrees from my knees and I'm just going to be rocking forward and back you're going to hear all that cracking which is great okay so it's all relieving all those tight muscles okay once I'm just straight on I'm going to just slowly turn to the side I'm going to get a muscle called my teres major and teres minor which is up here especially if I'm going to be training shoulders I'm really going to be attacking those so I want to make sure they're nice and loose before I go into my compound movement, which my first exercise is going to be military press. So, and especially these muscles are going to be really getting damaged through there. And if they're tight, I won't be able to get enough um, enough performance through them through my lifts as well. So I'm just doing like 10 to 20 rolls on there, just really hitting that Terry's manic kills, but it's good for you. I'm going to do the opposite side as well. Beautiful. Cool guys, so there's the two basic moves I use for my front roll as well. So just straight on, really warming up my thrustic spine, and then I'll just go slightly direct into my teres major and teres minor, because the muscles I'll be using, it's just like front rolling from the legs. Okay, I'm gonna be working on front rolling my quads and front rolling my hemis, but here I'm gonna get in my teres major and teres minor. Obviously, good, that's gonna be impacting my presses as well. So I really just trying to release that so I get enough mobility through my shoulders. So guys, give those two a go. Just like do about 20 rolls through there, and just um, like 10 to 12 direct rolls through Terry's major and Terry's minor, which is just, just below the armpit. 
So after I've done my foam rolling techniques, I'm gonna be going into some cable mobility stuff, okay? So what I'm gonna be doing here is working my rotator cast, my rear delt, just warming up all my shoulders before I go into my presses and, and, and you know, lateral raises and front raises as well. So guys, I love doing my shoulder warm-ups as well because I have experienced an injury myself as well, and it's the worst and you can't do nothing, you can't push, pull, you can do nothing. So guys, I'm very strict on my, I'm strict um, with my mobility stretches and warm-ups as well, just with my clients as well. So guys, make sure you do some of these exercises, okay? So what I'm gonna be doing here is an external rotation, okay? We're gonna be really hitting that rear delt, okay? So first of all, taking you through, you're gonna have that elbow tucked in nice and tight, okay? Make sure your toes are pointed straight. Okay, hips are nice and strong, glutes are nice and switched on. From here, all I'm gonna be doing is externally rotating 90 degrees, and then coming back to the center. 90 degrees, and back to center. So we're really gonna work that rear delt. That's good, feeling nice and warm through the shoulders, got enough blood flow, okay. Guys, I'm gonna be showing you one more exercise. So guys, after I've done my external rotation, okay, I'm gonna be going for two times 20 reps in external rotation, then I'm gonna be going to a double arm, okay. What I'm gonna be doing here is a reverse rear delt fly, okay. What I'm gonna be doing here is gonna grab in both cables, opposite. I'm gonna just get annoying, it's caught in your skin. Okay, what we're gonna be doing here, I'm gonna be having my thumbs pointed out, okay? First of all, my core's gonna be switched on, and all I'm gonna do is gonna externally fly out and control him, okay? Make sure my thumbs are out, really hitting that rear delt, holding there for three seconds to increase mind to muscle connection, and then slowly lowering that back up. So that's the reversed rear delt fly. Okay, really hitting those rear delts as well. Okay, one more exercise I'm gonna be doing is another mobility stretch, just getting enough blood flow through there. You're gonna speed things up a bit. He's gonna be using Nonda's broomstick. <laughs> if you're Italians know, you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, with this stick, if you guys have one of these in the gym, maybe a bar or anything. Um, so I've just recently started doing these as well. One of my physios showed me some great exercise and I really feel a lot looser through my shoulders. Especially with people, if you guys are an office worker as well, um, obviously you guys are in that poor habit of typing. Okay, so obviously computer work, typing, office work, you're gonna be having that rounded shoulder. Okay, so if you're having rounded shoulders, it's called, it's called internal rotation of the shoulder, okay? So with that, put the stick down. Obviously you have an office job, you know, rid delt internal rotation because you're typing all the time, so you're in that poor habit, okay? So what you're gonna be doing here, if you guys experience poor posture, what you're gonna be using, obviously you're having a stick. We're gonna be doing an open up place. It's gonna be opening up our chest because you are tight through the chest and you are internally rotated as well. So obviously you're doing exercise that's gonna help open up the chest and open up the shoulder. That's gonna help you get a better performance through your workouts and save less injury. So obviously using this stick as well, um, it's gonna help you open up because I find it really tight through the chest because I've done chest yesterday so I'm, I kind of feel my chest is pulling in, okay? So by using this stick, I'm gonna be hold a shot with a stance, shot with a part, and then what I'm gonna do is just come in slightly above my head and letting my shoulders fall down, okay? So I wanna go around 15 reps here, okay? Really take your time on this one, guys. So as I'm pulling out, I'm really getting a nice stretch for that chest. You guys can hold that for three, three to four seconds, get a nice stretch for the bicep as well. And then coming back over.
good guys. Try that one. If you guys got a tight chest, internal rotation, warm up the shoulders as well. Don't even know what this is called. This is called a non as um, non the stick mobility workout. <laughs> Try that one guys, cool. Okay guys, so I've done my warm ups, done my treadmill, foam rolling and mobility workouts as well. So, feeling nice and warm, feeling energized, feeling enough blood flow through my muscles. So my first exercise is gonna be a compound movement. Okay, compound movement is gonna be a military press. Military press will be working my rear delt straps, rear delt, kind of my whole um, shoulder as well. Okay, so with these ones, gonna be doing four sets of 10 reps, okay? What I'm gonna be doing here is a two second hold at the bottom, and then coming up, and so, so two, one, two, okay? That's the method we're gonna be using today on the military press. do is just warm up for the bar, go for like 10 to 12 reps, get enough blood through and tell your body, no, understand what exercise you're going to be working today. So guys, done a nice warm up, just chuck on some weight. So guys, as I said, four sets of 10 we're going to be working out today. Obviously that's kind of muscle building stuff as well. If you guys want to go in strength, you're probably going to go for six reps and below. Okay, it depends what you're working, it depends what your goal is. My goal is probably to build more muscle building strength as well, so I'm going to be doing four sets of 10. Okay, and with four sets of 10, you want to make sure you're up in the weight, 2.5 to five kilos up each and every set. Okay, keep that in mind. So, so. That's tough guys, four sets of 10 military press, make sure you up the weight each and every set. Guys, you've probably seen I was using my legs in the last few, um, ex I can't talk. But you've, seen, you've probably seen I was using my legs in the last few reps as well, just to get me more momentum through there because it's I have heavy ass weight. <laughs> so if you guys are struggling to get that weight up, simply just do it like a light squat, get a bit of um, momentum through your legs, so you push up that weight. Anyways, guys, try that. A1, shorter press, four sets of 10. Bring up the weight each and every set. And between between exercises, rest as well. 60 to, 90, 60 to 90 seconds rest between each and every set. Guys, moving on to my military press, we're gonna be going into bent over rear delt flies seated. Okay, what we're doing here is gonna be going to a nice bent position we're gonna be flying up okay I'm really gonna attack that lateral width off the shoulder as well okay I love these exercises so the rep range is gonna be changing so we're gonna be going for four sets of 12 reps Guys, remember with this as well, make sure you guys up in the weight each and every set. Guys, you don't want to go too heavy with these redelt flies as well. I see people going way too heavy with these ones and they don't get that full range of motion as well. This is all important about more range of motion. Coming up and get that nice contraction to that redelt and coming through. If you guys find yourself swinging too much, simply just drop the weight, okay? We'll see ya.
That's the killer. Filming here, trying to grow these big bad boys. <laughs> Try that, guys. Four sets of 12 reps. Make sure you guys up in the weight each and every sec. Okay, guys, moving on to our C series, C1 and C2. First, C1 is going to be using the easy bar barbell. We're going to be doing frontal raises, okay? So, what we're going to be doing there is three sets of 12 reps, okay? With the front raises, we're going to be coming, rising up to our eye level, then controlling down. We're going to try and control that weight as much as possible. That's where we're going to get most of the muscle fibers teared. Through the down phase, which is the eccentric phase, more, the, more down, more the eccentric phase than the up phase, okay? Then I'm going to be super setting with lateral raises which I'm going to move on to. Let's start with this one. Okay, moving on to a C2 sessions. We're gonna be super setting these two. What we're doing here is a standing lateral rise. It's nice and basic movement. Also going for 12 reps. Try and control that down for two to three seconds on the eccentric phase. Lost it. <sighs> Eight. Oh, come on. I had too much halo top last night. Come on. We that pizza. <laughs> Eleven. <sighs> Try that one, guys. Front barbell raises, super set with standing lateral raises. It's a killer. <laughs> okay, guys, moving on to the D series, finishing off with Arnold Press. One of my favorite exercises to obviously start your workout, but also just to finish your workout. With the Arnold Press, which I'm gonna be showing you here, is a rotation movement, okay? So starting off the dumbbells from here, we're gonna be rotating in internal, and then slowly just pressing out. So what we're doing that is really attacking all heads of the shoulders. The rear, the side, and the front. Front. Great to finish off all those workouts, especially if you got done direct work on your lateral, rear delt, and front delt. This is just kind of a finisher. So, what we're going to be going here is for 15 repetitions. Okay, let's do it. Killer, killer. One more set to go. So we'll do two sets of 15 reps here, guys. 
if you guys had, if you guys lifted some good weight throughout the whole workout here, you're really gonna feel this burn. If you didn't, nah, chances are you didn't have a good workout. <laughs> You guys can up the weight if you wanted to, but I'm just drilled after my workout, so I want to keep the same weight, nice and light, so I can really focus in on um, muscle damage. <sighs> That's a killer. Oh. Swolders. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that is my shoulder workout done. Dusted. Oh, that was killer. Anyways, guys, finish off with the Arnold presses towards the end. Two sets of 15 reps. Choose a good weight to finish up. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoy my shoulder workout. Give it a go. I'm going to be linking all the description of all the exercises and the tempos and sets like that just in case you missed it throughout the workout. But if you guys got any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, have a good day.